betwixt the raising of the undying emperor and the great planner war that shook the heavens, there was an age of contradiction. Where cannons won kingdoms and muskets kept the peace, a brave few won the hearts of the conquered and conquerors alike. Of these we speak of the decline of the great kingdoms and cultures under the heel of empire. Of those we speak of gladiators and the untold thousands that worshipped them. In this, an age of glory, where kings would be slaves and a gladiator would be king. Good afternoon, and welcome to Die, Dragon, Die Presents Dread and Circus, episode 21. I'm your DM and host, Marty, joined by Adam and Mark. How Hello. is everyone doing? I'm going to unmute the mics, hot mics, hot mics. Hello! Okay. Hello. Hey. So, Demon Lord Nemi Hello. wants to spend a villain point on something, which uh, I thought was a pretty cool idea, so I might uh, Already? This. Yep. Like, uh, like I want to do this. I want to do this. <laughs> 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 and uh yeah so um on, on the thing mark is ahmed apparently in the thing oh, did, did i did i mark ahmed did i ahmed the mark yeah yeah you oh, ahmed okay. marked oh sorry <laughs> that's fine that's fine ahmed could be me when he shows up oh i i i said mark but i i moved uh yeah vc switches that's these windows around every fucking time it's fine <laughs> We're there doing we it live. You know what? You know what? I'll, make, I'll, I'll make Ahmed look good for a week. That's all. Oh, <laughs> oh shots oh. fired. <laughs> uh, you know what? He still looks better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. All right. Fixed. <laughs> we have the technology. How was everyone's week? It was. Uh, and Mark, it's been two ahead. weeks. I, yeah, it, I'm glad to be back. <laughs> we had a giant windstorm yesterday, and we didn't have electricity for oh, four were hours. You, were you scared? Because it was were we windy outside. Were we, were we outside? <laughs> it was windy outside, and power poles fell over just like two blocks from my house. It was windy outside. <laughs> Did the windows make a weird noise? <laughs> yeah, they were <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry so we were, we were very close to just like fuck it we'll go to a like we'll go to a movie <laughs> because if you're if you're used to going to bed at like 2 a.m yep. or whatever and it's now like fucking dark it's nine, it's nine o'clock and yeah. dark or ten o'clock yeah. and dark yeah what, what do you what do you do <laughs> I, I realized a few things about my house. Like I don't, like I know I've got a flashlight, but I don't have it in a place where I know where it is. You're like trying to turn on the lights to look for the flashlight. You're like, fuck. <laughs> well, it's like, well, it's what I kind of thought. Like it wasn't quite there, but it's like you flick on the light, or like, okay, you got a cell phone, right? The reason why I don't need to care is because I got a lot of cell phone. Cell phones got light, but you know, four hours later, cell phone might not have too much juice, and you had started having like this. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. So, yeah. All right. All right. Windstorm. Got it. <laughs> yes. Mark, what's up with you, man? Uh, not much. Just glad to be back. Uh, I had that run of, or got a run of uh, every month so it's six days straight. Yep. Uh, so, uh, 12 hour shifts, and the last run was just, they just happened to all like fall on game days we're playing game, which I missed the last two, which sucked, but. Yeah, and, and we've been busy, so we haven't done a lot of the uh, midweek games. Uh, work's been crazy busy for me, and I know work's been mm -hmm. crazy busy for uh, Adam, and the reason why mm -hmm. Ahmed's not on the stream today is work called him in <laughs> on a Saturday. <laughs> they yeah, said, so... hey, all that stuff, it exploded. 
Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. Start start unexploding things. Uh, so we had we had a really uh, interesting game last game where uh, one of the gladiators in the Rotosoro died. I don't know if you caught any of the. Uh, uh, I, I was I was I was I oh yes I was ca- I was talking to uh, to uh, Sam's former owner. <laughs> awesome. So why don't we do a recap of what happened last game, like on the road to Sora, and then we'll go back to where the masters left off. So the gladiators. Still uh, needs a recap there. Just, just yeah. So. Okay. So this is last game that I was talking about. <laughs> now keep in mind we switch uh, we switch between the road of Sorrow gladiators and the gladiators that are in Vatapol. Um, the Road of Sorrow gladiators con- convinced their master to wait until morning to lure the ghouls out of Dwarf Hole. Before dawn, a ghoulish woman enchants Roger and Samuel while they are in watch. Chaos ensues around the circle, uh, uh, ensues in the circle around Dwarf Hole. One of the gladiators sacrifices himself t- uh, to save Radimer, and the living are forced to retreat. Shortly after dawn, the party returns in furious vengeance to recover the lost companion's remains. Radimer commands one of the ghouls into his service. Following a brief funeral for the fallen, the caravan moves through to the Iron Hills. They stop at a place of eldritch beauty and danger called the Boiling Lake of Rainbows. Arlen makes contact, contact with a deific force that dwells there and abandons his religion to Freya and now worships this prismatic dragon. Fickle little. <laughs> it, 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 it was a little quick. I gotta say that it's 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 happened before. It's like basically you met know. you met a mythic being that can grant spells. And he was like, "I worship you." <laughs> yeah. You guys were asking, we're "Where's, we're where's we're mythic in this world? Where's mythic? Have we ever heard of it?" No, it's pretty much it's, hiding. It's in the lake. <laughs> yeah, it's in, it's it, in was, the lake. it was in the boiling lake of rainbows. You, um, you know what? If I was a mythic dragon, I'd be hiding from the Imperium too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a mythic epic dragon. This is this dragon okay. is from the Epic Handbook 3.5. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, that was fun. It was it was a really cool scene, and I really liked the way that the dragon's philosophy, I, like, it challenged Ahmed's character's beliefs in the point where he's like, yep, I, I convert. You, you're saying all the right things. You're hitting all the right beats. <laughs> well, it was hilarious, too, because it was one of those things where Ahmed had a plan. It was it was funny. Like, he, he went in there, and his goal was to get Sam reincarnated. Like, that was his goal. And... Yep. Right, he was brought to this mythical place to see if he could get Sam reincarnated. That was the whole thing. When the dragon's like, what, kid, why are you bothering me? I'm in my lake. It's all shiny and shit. You're here. I'm out of the lake now. What do you want? He's like, I want all the power in the world forever. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Give me all the power in the world forever that I can do whatever I want. I guess that's what... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it bring Sam, oh yeah. And could you bring Sam back? It's like, well, no. He's more focused on this all the power of the world for everything. It was this funny. Could you give me seventh level? Like, <laughs> if, if if you see me or wincing, level spells. if you see me wincing, I slept wrong last night. My head was kind of cocked when I got up this morning, and and my neck is fucking killing me right now. So I'm glad my sh- my chair swivels because my head cannot. Um, <laughs> um, all right. Okay. So um, previous game to that was with the Masters. Game 19 was called the Path of Lies. Magnus fights at Prentice and Sona's side against the champions of the House of the Grim Goblin. Damien explores the city. Ashoka and Sid spy on the goblins and learn that one of their fallen gladiators has reincarnated into a new form. Ashoka visits the commissar or the commissioner of games, who has received complaints about the underestimation of the fighting prowess of both Magnus and Prentice. Magnus and Sona arrange an exhibition match with the Valkyries. Ashoka expels a priest of the five faced god from the Ludus's employ. Oh yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what what happened there? <laughs> uh there was a plot amongst the uh the, the gladiators to murder the priest, and then it's like, oh, what's the priest doing? Oh, the priest just stands there and yells at them about how they're evil and they're going to hell. <laughs> that's even that's, the good gladiators want to kill him? Oh. Could you leave now? 
<laughs> Please go away. <laughs> yeah. You're not useful. <laughs> All right. He tried so to I... explain. He tried to logic with him about how like the whole <clears throat> arena is meant to for people to express their religion and then get crushed under the boot heel of the empire. And he was and like, that... he's like, no. So he's he's the wrong priest. Yeah. Did we finish? <laughs> I think we did finish the turn, right? Like, Fleas is now trained, uh, like, as a bard, correct? Uh, Fleas actually was already a bard. He was being trained in the level, oh. so he should be level three. Okay. Did he just howl his songs? Oh. So I, jokes. I, I think we actually <laughs> yes. did, I think we actually did the, the ninth, uh, uh, the ninth week of spring. Yeah. I, oh, there was. I remember that we had a fight that we weren't going to be able to finish in time, so we leveled up stuff. Right. Okay. So I think you guys need to plan what is going on in your Ludus uh, th this next time, because you were diplomacy. Yeah, you did your diplomacy. Uh, Magnus did some training. There was some crafting from Phineas. Damien was exploring, uh, and Zed was training. Okay. So I think we're going to start out. Um, Given that Ahmed's not here, w w uh, any of Magnus's stuff might happen sort of in the background while you guys are talking and doing other things. Mm -hmm. So there are two characters that I wanted to focus on, and these were the new guys, uh, at least for a scene a piece. A piece. Um, we've got Damien, who has been exploring the city. And we have Zed, who is a uh, half-orc druid monk that was hired by the, uh, the Beast Tamers to help them with this terrible little dragon that they've uh, uh, they've agreed to, t to try to train and to uh, to shape and meld uh, from its destructive ways named Zargon. Um, so, which one do you want to start with first? Uh, I, well, in three seconds, if Mark is still having a side conversation, then it will be Zed. So. All right. Yeah, well, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like... I'll be with you in a second. <laughs> Zed, Marty. We would like to do Zed first. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> oh, I had a quick question about leveling up because he wasn't uh, full introduced. Uh, his treasure didn't change, right? Like, he's still uh, fourth level gear. Okay. So, or... what does he need? Well, I was going to turn his druid's vestment into a tattoo. Sure. Was... Okay. And I'll leave the rest of it like that. That's fine. Okay. That would be and cool. Give him, <laughs> give him a wand of cure light wounds. Awesome. He's going to be a cool guy. Okay. So what what do you, what do we know about Zed? What what is Zed's background? What does he do? What's his thing? Zed is a um On the line between the orcish tradition and that of like a, a spiritual quest, he's somewhat forsaken um, orcish heritage, but has not embraced that of the Imperium or that of humanity uh, or that of humans. Um, whether like we probably should fill out some of this uh, allegiance, relatives, that kind of stuff. Some of these lines. Um, yep. Um, what god does he worship? He is a nature druid with the fire domain. So I'm looking for a lawful, neutral, compatible fire guy. Or a nature guy. Um, let's see. Who has fire domain in the fucking Greyhawk Pantheon? Obed High has all the elemental. Um, uh, he's the, he's a neutral god of nature, woodland, f freedom, hunting, and beasts. Weird. He's neutral. Uh, air, animal, earth, fire, plant, and water. Uh, I guess he could have lawful neutral monks. Mm hmm. Um, who else has fire? None of the major gods. Let's check the list of minor deities. Uh, for 
For some reason, I'm rem remembering Joramy. Joramy is Wrath and Volcanoes, and she's yeah. neutral. <laughs> it's like, that, that was Tinder Twigs, God. Uh, competition, Destruction, Fire, and War. Uh, Pyrenius is Poison, that's... Assassins, and Fire. A neutral uh, evil, destruction evil, and fire. No, that's that's a little too... So both of those are a little wild for, for what, what we're... <clears throat> and then we also... I decided to introduce the elemental gods from the Forgotten Realms there on this world as well. So Grumbar is Tishia, um, um, Akkadi, and uh, Kozuth. Kozuth. Kozuth with the neutral, uh, neutral god of fire. And the uncaring elemental lord of fire. <laughs> That, that's that that's that feels like the that or 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 the or the nature man are the, the appropriate ones. Okay, well, I'll make a decision. Which Don't one? Burn my mom, she's good. So <laughs> she burns. That's all I care. All right. So Kozuth, he is. Uh, so he's turned his back on on traditional uh, orcish gods then. He has turned his back on traditional orcish gods, and he's turned his back on the traditional orcish way. Uh, and then why? The, the um, for him, it's more of a philosophical um, thing, and I would say it's a very violent outburst slash playing with sort of like rage-like effects in his youth that drove him away from. Um, a barbarian path, effectively. Okay. The orcs you know are a people that are not from here, in the same way the Imperium's not from here. You know how the Imperium got here, right? They came through the ring and yeah, they fucked shit the up. Sa the Songate. <laughs> well, the Songate actually lived on the world before that, or, or the, Ru the Ruak Empire also used the Songates to, um, uh, to explore and conquer. And there was a time where the, the Ruakians uh, had the Songate in their control, and Orc Hordes came to Terek that way. So Orcs are not native to, um, to Terek. But there's still a lot of them. And then the conflict between the two, the two great empires of the Imperium and the, uh, the Ruakian Horde um, have brought more Orcs here, mostly as slaves. Dwarf, dwarves you'd see as your, like, pet race. All right. Tell that to Lokrik. At least Who's on this world. Lokrik. And, Who's and your then... good Lokrik? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Ruakian Empire was built out of the um, the conquered lands of the dwarves. In fact, there are entire kingdoms of dwarves that served the orcs. Yeah, Lokrik would not like that too much. Lokrik, Lokrik represents the old ways, the uh, um, the free dwarves of the many fallen kingdoms. Yeah. So, Zed's growth would have been through um, sort of an abandonment of his um, sort of past quote-unquote responsibilities. Um Thing, and then an abandonment of sort of the, or an attempt to abandon the impulses of sort of, uh, I guess, mortals. Um, trying to be Zen like, sort of that classic Zen like neutrality, <laughs> uncaring control. Um, and he's trying to basically internally overcome um, chaos with. Internal an internal tendency towards chaos with that of law and order and regiment. Got it. So he he's got his orcish his orcish side underneath that uh, threatens to overtake. He's gonna love more tenzi. <laughs> smash, smash. Stunning fist. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Time okay. for a lesson. What brought you to Vatapol? Uh, his, well, actually, um. He has a particularly interesting magical tattoo 
Um, and there is a rather skilled tattoo artist within this region um, that would have caused a, a need to come here for said tattoo. Got it. So Druid Vestments and the local the local artists in here. And then you found work. So mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> why don't we uh, have a conversation with uh, Chibagast? Um, you you heard of the Beast Tamers, you knew about them, in fact you've sold some beasts to them before, and it's a good place to get work. Um, after, after getting your Druid Vestments, or perhaps this is what funded the Druid Vestments, uh, mm. you, knew, you knew that they paid good coin for exotic beasts. Uh, when you arrived at the, 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 the Beast Tamer stable, um, there was a commotion going on. You noticed that Chepagast was outside. He was badly burned, and kind of lying, kind of like lying in a big, uh, uh, um, in a big trough, like not a horse trough. This is like an elephant trough or something. Uh, his his uh, many of his uh, his companions were like trying to help him. Don't let it out! Don't let it out! There was like snorting of fire coming from coming from the barn. Part of the barn was on fire on the inside. You see smoke coming up. Don't let it out. Uh, said we'll approach Chebigast. Okay, Cheb- Chebigast is like uh, needs medical attention. You can see a couple of his guys help uh, like trying to help him out. Don't let it out is what he says. He points at the slightly ajar barn door. Uh. Hmm. Uh, I know who Chepagast is. He's bought stuff from me before. Yeah, yeah. He's 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 the leader of the Beast Tamers of Vatapol. Okay, I will cast a Cure Light Wounds on him. Okay, while well, you're casting Cure Light Wounds on him and making sure that he doesn't like die, he got really <laughs> badly burned. He's still lying in this trough. He's he's pointing frantically at the door. This thing, this dragon. You've only heard about them in stories. You've heard of drakes. Drakes are all over the place. Wyverns, yes, but this dragon comes right at the door. Pouch me is what it says. <laughs> um, it's going to it's going to nip at you. Isn't it only like slightly larger than a cat right now? Pouch <laughs> <laughs> me. At, at, the, at this time, yes, Zargon would have been the size of a uh, tiny cat. <laughs> Easy, Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, hits, he hits AC 19. Uh, as he, as he uh, his cat, though. <laughs> AC 19 is uh, AC. Okay. For 10 points of damage. <laughs> he's biting a hold of your uh, leg. Okay. <laughs> now he's wrapped uh, around your leg. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you're like Foghorn and Leghorn when that weird wily <laughs> thing, <laughs> the weasel, gets around uh, his leg. Oh, God, get it off! It's, it's, gonna... it, it's, it's like crunching on your knee. You're like, oh, it's telling you to bow. <laughs> I'm bow to you. Uh, we're going to stunning fist okay. thing. <laughs> yeah. Fucking clock it in the head. Sure. Uh, non-lethal attack. Sure. Uh, all right, three plus three plus one. DC is the same as yours. I roll three. I miss. <laughs> you, you could see some guys in the back are like shooting nets on it and stuff like that. Let's see how they. Uh, let's see how they they do. Yeah, one guy totally misses. The other guy tosses a net over top of the creature. Um, uh, Zargon's now um, the little dragon thing is now. Uh, entangled. He's in a net. It, it just... It's just... Fucking horrible. It, it's vicious. It's in a rage right now. Um, you can see that it's got some weird, like, brand on its forehead. Strange that a red creature... It's now gonna start breathing. Like, it's kind of going... <laughs> trying to burn the, the fucking webbing uh, all around it. Uh, okay. Sargon's gonna breathe. All right. Uh, I think he took the power that increases his d6s to d8s. So, yep, 2d8 at this level. Six damage, reflex save, dc 12. Okay. Evade. 
Okay? <laughs> you jump over the flames. You have fire in you. Uh, we're gonna... The, 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 the net is burned, though. It, it's, it's, like, kind of coming out of the net. It's a horrible, horrible spined little thing. Uh, I guess we'll... You are not my master! Chebergas looks horrified. The conversation started with bowing. You should bow. Uh, and, um, turn into a, I guess, kind of a slightly singed wolf. <laughs> oh, you're that kind of druid, huh? <laughs> Alright, let me just find a wolf token. Like a little puppy dog wolf, or like a mean wolf? Like a medium-sized wolf. Okay. Not like, we're still... Wait a sec. Let me just check. I don't think I, I don't have large yet. I've only got medium. Uh, all right. Puppy. <laughs> that was a standard action. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Zar Zargon now crawls on top of Chebagast. Oh, oh, oh. It's he's on top of his uh, he's on top of his belly. Uh, climbs out of the of the netting. You are not my master. I am the master here. All of your skulls. You leave my skulls alone. <laughs> Chubby guy's like, oh, oh, he's, he's, he's probably peeing himself in the trough. <laughs> <laughs> as, the, as the thing is coming up to him and it, it is, is is actually scaring Chebagas. What are you doing, Wolfie? Uh, Wolfie is going to flurry of blows will stunning fist on the first swing and spend a key point to make an additional attack. Yeah. So... <laughs> Mark's like, yeah, fuck the dragon. <laughs> 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 I like how Mark is cheering. Beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Beat his ass. Uh, oh, God. Sunning Fist misses. Uh. The, the extra attack misses. Oh, no. The flurry hits. Oh, you're uh, flurring as a wolf. Yes. Weird. It's like you're headbutting and <laughs> pawing at it and <laughs> yes. bucking it with the back leg. <laughs> uh, uh, 1d8, uh, my strength. I might actually need to like cast buffing spells to fight this thing, which is funny. Uh, 1d8 plus uh, 4, and I currently do double damage on first unarmed attack roll, so 1d8 plus 8 plus 2. 18 damage, non-lethal. Oh, wow. Um, he has 6, 4, 10, 24, that's 34. You did 18, non-lethal? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. <laughs> you, you, you finally buck him in the head. He, he, he scrambles off of uh, Chepagas a little bit and turns to you. <laughs> He's getting really mad. He will full full attack you. Okay. Bite claw claw. I think it's that. AC twenty two. Thirteen, eleven, and sixteen. He's up on his hind legs, slashing at you and and gnawing at you. Actually, there's an AOO when when you. Uh, he's tiny, so there's an AOO. Oh, uh, I've got combat reflexes. Uh, as, so he enter, as he enters your square <laughs> to attack you. Sorry, not sorry. AC20. Yeah, you, you, uh, you bite it. This one does slightly less damage. 14 non-lethal. Oh, oh, that hurt him bad. Dragon style. <laughs> Okay, uh, he tried to get up under underneath you, and, and you basically, you kind of crunched his head down in your mouth. Uh, that stunned him a little bit. It looks like he wants to get away. Um, now it's your turn. Okay. We're going to 
five foot step back. Okay. And then initiate a grapple. All right. Do you have a grapple? No, I don't, but he can't reach me. (laughs) Okay. Because he's little. <laughs> <laughs> you reach out, you, you snatch at him again with your with your jaws. Yep. Uh, uh, three plus four. Let's see how we. Which uh, uh oh oh. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> so nope. Okay, he's going to. He wants to back away. He's trying to back away from you a little bit. He's he's got his uh. His claws out and his wings, his wings large. He's trying to make himself look really big, but he's backing away from you. He's gonna, t- he's gonna jump on Chebagast again, five foot step. Uh, take a bite out of his belly. Come on, Chebagast, use your, use your natural armor, <laughs> belly armor. <laughs> uh, takes a bite out of him. Oh, it's, it's like it, it took um, like a golf, so- uh, a golf ball sized chunk out of his belly. You can you can see the the bleeding layer of fat underneath. <laughs> yeah, mine. Hmm. All right. <laughs> okay, uh, now we need to punish the little dragon. <laughs> Chubby guy's like, oh, 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 he's ble- he's bleeding badly in in the uh, in the tub. All, all of his trainers are like, don't want to get close to it. Like, they've got little lassos and, and nets and things, but... Going to go and full round non-lethal dragon into unconsciousness. Sure. And Good one guy. of the things about trying to be like Monk Master Man, when you turn into a, a wolf, it might look cool, but it's hard to say things that are <laughs> quippy or intelligent, because they all come out like... <laughs> 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 Uh, Do you have natural spell as a feat? Uh, not yet, actually. Yeah. I was looking at my feat list going, oh, I missed one. <laughs> Oops. Uh, that's right. Uh, AC 13. Okay. He moves away. AC 25. As he's scrambling away, he's, try- he's trying to like chew down the, the chunk of flesh. and you, uh, you... AC 18 is miss. Uh, 1d8 plus 8 plus 2. 11 non-lethal. Those are some hefty non-lethal rolls. Uh, Zargon goes flying as you kick him off of Chebagast. Uh, he is unconscious. Uh, and he crumbles up into a ball beside him. Then, then all of a sudden, the the, uh, the helpful trainers get brave and like they throw lassos and nets around him. And <laughs> one guy's raising a club like he wants to club the the dragon. <laughs> so Chebagast is like oh, 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 bleeding and unconscious again. Zed will turn back into a uh, work. Okay. Stay back! Stay back! You notice there's some people, like some of the trainers have gone and uh, they're sending some of the townsfolk back. <clears throat> Take the little one inside. Yeah, they, they drag him almost unceremoniously back inside. Uh, Help him! A... There's some guy with like a rag trying to stuff it into the hole. Uh, I'll do a quick heal check as like trying to figure out what's the best way to help. Like, what are we dealing with? Is it just throw magic at it? Sixteen. Yeah, pretty much throw magic at it. He'll have a nasty. He'll have a nasty wound. <laughs> he'll have a nasty scar. Okay. Uh, he'll throw another cure light wounds at it. He does prepare two. Okay. So thirteen healing. Wow. <laughs> All right, Zed. Chebagast wakes up again. <sighs> is it secure? Is it secure? It's having a nap. Zed! Oh, it's good mm. to see you. I don't know what we would have done had you not wandered by. It is a, a nasty little thing. It is... Reminds me of myself. I'll you were off my hand to pull him out of the tub. You were going to sell, um, like when you were wandering by. You were carrying like a baby, like python tree snake that you know that can grow really big if treated really well. 
you 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 kind of your your shoulders slump a little bit when you realize the breath weapon had burned the bag and killed the snake inside. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you help Chevagast up. Pull, pull Chevagast up. Yep. <sighs> what brings you to these parts? Not that I'm complaining. That's what he says. <clears throat> well, sort of. Are you interested in some barbecued snake? <laughs> uh, it, it it does taste like pheasant. That's what he says. Uh, he'll take the, the the snake out of the the ash and <laughs> he he looks kind of sheepishly at the, at the bag and the slightly cooked snake. I imagine it was being brought here to sell to me. Mm. It is a. It was a small tree python. Come, let us go to the lodge, and he he waddles in pain to the lodge. The beast tamer's lodge has got a lot of like um, trophies in it. These are not necessarily trophies of things that you've that you've hunted, um, but uh, that have been hunted, but more so the things that have died in the arena and then given a place like their skins and heads and and tusks and teeth have been given a place of honor in the beast tamer's lodge. All of them are named. Some of them even have like how many fights they were involved in before they met their demise. Um, a couple of the animals here are also stuffed, um, and we need a, we need a creepy taxidermist. It sounds like um, let's 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 do a random uh, race roll to see who the creepy taxidermist is. No. Random rules. Random no, no. Rules. I've I've got it. I'm going to reuse a character from another campaign. Um, I is, uh, he, he's an Aka. He is a um, Aka, or like my Marty's Birdman. And I'm just gonna rip off another campaign. This is the in-person campaign, yeah. so it's, it's fine. Nobody. You're knows. going to be inspired by other of your own work, so it's <laughs> right. all. <laughs> which How is, dare which I is think inspired by. Or that is in my mind. <laughs> uh, by campaign, Titan's Gift is the name of that campaign. Characters. Where is he? Where is he? NPCs? Yeah. He'll be the, the local taxidermist. The a weird Aka character kind of sounds like Matt. Uh, it might not nope. be Matt, but it sounds like Matt. Oh, uh, don't don't mind cadavers. He he's relatively harmless. Oh, yes, cadavers wouldn't do anything to harm you. Cadavers only works on animals and beasts. You see this horrible, wretched birdman. It kind of looks like a um, uh, like a vulture. You notice that his big wings are all chained up in like really old, rusty chains. Yes, he is. I think that's from Dark Knowledge Crystal. Nature. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's a, that's a skexy. Cadavers <laughs> only works on animals. Do you like his work? Is this something for me to work on, Master Chibagast? No, no, this is actually lunch. Ah. Who is this nice orc you brought here, Cadavers? Cadavers want to be your friend. Cadavers is a good friend. Uh, Zed will <laughs> nod slowly it, and friends. quietly. <laughs> and, like, okay. Stoically. Chebega says, prepare the lunch for us, Cadavers. Yes, Cadavers will prepare all your lunches for you, Master Chebegast. He takes, he takes the snake. You, you and... just know if Chebagas gets drunk, he's going to eat his face. <laughs> <laughs> he goes over and every once in a while there's like an angry chop, like from like a big chopping. <laughs> a, 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 so an axe-like Cadavers chopping thing. Like, seems like a very fun character to play, by the way. Like, <laughs> from voice to mannerisms. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've tortured my party with Cadavers. He was the frenemy <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> Why do we hate it and like it? Oh no. Right. Uh, Zed will grab a, a, a bit of cloth and sort of staunch the blood coming out of his leg from the... Yep. Ah, 
I will send for our medicus, and he is currently, um, um, however, at the stables looking after my megaphant. You did hear I have a megaphant. Uh, knowledge, nature. Eighteen. Um, it is a beast, a very, very large beast. Perfect. They are very, they are very impressive. You know that the males will be very temperamental and hard. It, it, it would be a hard to keep. Unfortunately, is it male or female? I, I um, male, of course. Uh, for the tusks, um, uh, for the show, he says. But I, I'm afraid I've bitten off more than I can chew. Junk. That uh, is, that is. <laughs> Admiring the somewhat missing hunk of flesh in the belly area yep. on the comment of the biting and the chewing. Yes, could I ever serve you lunch, friend? <laughs> he's got he's got everything chopped up. It actually looks kind of nice. Oh, I'll mention the chat just so everybody's a Yo well made. Get it it's done. in the shape of his face with a big knife. In it. <laughs> no, no, they're, they're little forks and skewers, and and everything's everything's kind of chopped up. The skin's still on it. He's okay. like, he's he's grinning. You think, and as he, he puts the tray down in front of you, eat. Okay. Cadaveris hasn't poisoned it. <laughs> uh, Zed, Zed, Zed will Zed will Kill eat. Kill okay. Kill <laughs> yeah. um. It's a. Uh, it's apparently Chebagas' slave, like the, he calls Chebagas' master, so... That's fine. Uh, it's the... The strangeness of cadavers is not something that Zed is trying to concern himself with. Yep. He's trying to, you know... So while you're, while you're eating Snake, I unfortunately have... Now need to divide my time between running the beast stables, training... Many of these young handlers, who are not very good, and um, dealing with the Commissar of Games, as well as tending to my megaphant and now a true red dragon, who is very temperamental. It seems to be, well, a megalomaniac. Um, um, it is unfortunate that we did not get to this dragon when it was still in its egg. I hear that, that the mother's teach dragons when they're in their eggs. Uh, everything about draconic culture, language, it would have been an excellent time to teach it um, when it couldn't bite you. Now, it's however... It's too late to learn. Ah, yes. You seem to handle it quite well. Maybe I could... How long are you in town? I have no plans. If you're interested, um, I know that you are an expert at handling reptiles. This dragon is different and may require a stronger touch than I've been giving it. It, it seems that, well, we shouldn't start it with the horde. Um, it has started to collect um, the skulls of the things that it kills. Um, and it's started stealing things from in here. Um, and it gets very upset whenever we disturb its pile. <laughs> We shouldn't have started with the horde first. This is what Jebbega said. <laughs> Just wait until it sees gold or talents or understands the worth of other things. Right now, it seems to be most concerned about collecting the skulls of creatures it's eat. It has threatened to have several of our skulls um, join its pile. Where is its horde? Um, we keep it in a chamber um, uh, beneath the streets. Oh, sorry, I'm just ha I'm having a, a mind blank. <laughs> What's the name? Uh, Sargon is what you said its name was. Yes, it is. Well quite smart. Um, it, uh, it is owned by uh, another Ludus, and they have paid me to train it. They, too, have had a hard time in keeping it. Um, they want to, well, blood it in the arena at some point, is my understanding. 
Um, the owners have the owners of that ludus have gifted the dragon to the Crimson Scale, is what they're calling themselves, and they um, well they've named themselves after the dragon. If for the first few weeks, I had to um, hire additional security just to keep people away from trying to um, see the dragon. Uh, but now the idea, at least, um, um, they've seen it, obviously, in incidents like today. Um, and it is very small, but, as you can see, uh, very dangerous. I am told that this is a dragon of some great bloodline. That the dragon may grow quicker than that of other dragons. It is from some kingly red dragon bloodline. I have yet to determine which. I do not have a lot of lore on the subject. And it was something I was getting around to doing is to understand how it grows. Um, there are other, there are ways that I was told by my master a long time ago. I wish I wrote it down. God's bless his soul. Um, that allow dragons of different bloodlines to grow quicker than simply through great age. I fear that this thing, well, it's grown as much as we've been able to measure it several inches in the few weeks that it's um, been here. Uh, and its appetite is growing by the poundage of meat. <laughs> it will need to learn civility if it wishes to survive. Yes, it is precisely what we were um, tasked with doing. Um, more First, so we... we'll need to learn what it means to survive, and that survival is a good thing. Very little so far has threatened it. Oh, Ahmed's dropping truth bombs in the chat. I don't know if he's, he caught that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it made me go, oh. <laughs> <clears throat> uh. <laughs> and do it before it can be, start becoming a manipulative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas is like, let me scroll through the chat. I was uh, basically uh, the best case scenario. This is my brother's a heart surgeon. I've become the leftovers. <laughs> 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 He's the other side. <laughs> uh, I think the horde is inappropriate. <laughs> Real world faulting adulting. I just go back up through the chat. I missed oh, yeah, there's, there's oh, stuff Mar happening. Mark, Mark's like, kill the bird. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. While you're thinking about this, meanwhile, yep. Damien, what what have you been doing? You you've spent about ten days exploring, uh, exploring Vatapol. Where have you gone? What have you been trying to find out? He's been trying to find out how to become blooded as a gladiator. Okay, give me a diplomacy check. Uh, you can gain a plus four because um, this is they they want gladiators. Okay. Sorry, I'm just on the wrong character sheet right now. No problem. Where do Great. you go to ask? Um. Well, he's first. Well, first place he's gonna ask is the first bar he drops into. <laughs> Wee! Okay. Um, do you go to Ollie's Blessed Press, or do you go to the uh, Fox and Grouse Tavern? Or there's a tavern near the uh, the arena. Um, I need a good That's tavern. That's the place name. to go. Uh, the the fighting hawk. I was thinking the dented helmet. Oh, that's a good one too. Basically, they drink. Uh, they have. They serve special drinks that are served in the helmets, or you're told, of of those used in the civic arena. <laughs> Ew. Okay, I don't want one of those. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. Do you you have have something a in a wine glass. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is this is like like 
picture the sports bar <laughs> next to the arena. <laughs> this is their equivalent of like fish How pools. delightfully downtrodden. Goody. <laughs> Um, you end up, you end up meeting a gladiator that is there. Uh, give me a d4. Okay. Three. One of the mercs. One of the mercs. One of the mercs. There is this disgusting. I was with it. Was... Um, <laughs> frog creature that is sitting at a, is sitting at, at a table all by itself. Like, the, the place is packed, but about eight feet around it in all directions. Nobody is deigning to go near. There is just this massive half-eaten feast of, of, like, whole vegetables, pies, big hunks of meat. Every once in a while, a tongue comes out. Like, his massive tongue comes, like, <laughs> darting out of his mouth and grabs, like, a ham and then, like... <laughs> Oh, that is a delightful trick. Couldn't decide what you wanted. <laughs> He's looking at you. He stopped chewing mid chew. Does he have like the gauntlets, like a gladiator? Uh, yeah. He's he's got. Um, uh, it does not look <clears throat> like he is a slave. Although he does have he does have tattoos all all up and down his arms. Tell me, are you a are you a gladiator? Wrong. I, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Wrong. Do you speak imperial? Wrong. Is, is he all right? Is does he need help? Uh, this one, this one bartender is like, he he pays. Well then, I said. frog things, well, interesting. There's a low growl, an angry growl, when you called it frog. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Are you not a frog? You are a knowledge nature. I will take a 17 because I can do that. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you're a bard. Um, He's a bard, yes. Yeah, they're called bogards or bullywugs. I mean a bullywug. Correct. Give me a diplomacy check. See if this thing wants to eat you. So is that if he succeeds, he gets it, or...? <laughs> <laughs> you go either way. I kill it, and I'm, I'm blooded, maybe. I don't know. 30. You just blink. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Bullywug. Brog. <laughs> like a turnip goes inside his mouth. <laughs> well, okay then. Mm. Bartender. <laughs> Brog's pointing at a pie. That That is a pie? Yes. I'm... He he reaches out and just flips it towards you. Oh, well, thank you for... Does it look like it's partially eaten, or...? Nope, not yet. It looks like a, like a, a curant pie. Oh, well, I could go for some pie, I suppose. I've been walking around all day. Build up a, quite an appetite, you know. Ah, let's see. What kind of pie do we have here? It's, 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 it's you don't use forks, huh? <laughs> all right, bartender, fork, please. Nice. Frog. <laughs> ah, yeah. Fork. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he makes a stabbing motion with his big club towards you. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and then let's have, like, the most impossibly long, her- 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 uh, horrendous belch. This is like oh. down kind of sarlacc pit sort of grumbling like everyone stops in it. <laughs> well that was fragrant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <what> you <laughs> I am a young lord looking to make a name for himself in the arena. I just don't know how to get in there. <laughs> I'm new to the city, I'm afraid, so... I'm just... I understand I need to get blooded, as they say. <laughs> His eyes are looking you up and down. God, Paul. Oh, I know I'm young, but I've been training for a long time. Mm-hmm. Brog, no. You do? Mm. Brog, fight. Brog, eat. Brog, oh. strong. Thanks, you. Quite large, for certain. And you certainly wield your tongue with a great deal of talent. <laughs> and that menacing looking club you have. Have second stomach. Brog, eat anything. Well, that's a neat trick. Mm. Lady. Painter lady. Give you ate a painter lady? That's no. awful. <laughs> mm. No. No, she. No. <laughs> Considering it. No, <laughs> <Yeah>, I might. <laughs> no, she. Magic. She. Elf. She. Maybe tastes good. No, no. No. She. Witch. Oh. Make Brog second stomach. Make Brog uh, Rapu. Points to his tattoos. Oh, tattoo. I see. Yes, those are. <laughs> Daddy had tattoos. That's. I should what you. Those. What you name? Oh, my name is um, Damien, though my middle name is Victor. <laughs> Means winner, you know. Bamian. Which is what I would be. Bamian. <laughs> okay. Brog, finish eat. Brog, bring you to fight. Oh. You. Well, thank you. You fight or die. Yes, I fight. Well, that that is, that is, but you, yes. Brog, no. Brog, no place. Well, thank you, Brog. I very much appreciate it. It's a pleasure meeting you. Bramian. Mm. That is the most I've ever heard him speak. Apparently you rubbed well, off I... on him. But please, take him away. <laughs> <laughs> I have a way with people. <laughs> Bramian. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's dig in then, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have you have a little bit of pie and a, and He's sip on some ale. He's eating with his spit up like a... <laughs> oh oh the, the the fork is is the joke that Brog will never forget. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ha, 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 fork. <laughs> <laughs> so through up until the last chunk of that conversation, Brog used a total of ten words, and then things went off the rails. He used a two-syllable word, and yeah. then it was just all, it was all over. Game over. Bamian. <laughs> Bamian. Uh, Brog is a ranger for barbarian for. You might want to do an it check on bullywug mating rituals, because this might be one. <laughs> <laughs> Brock is, is a fourth level character with 80 hit points. <laughs> Those are the best. They, they get a racial bonus of plus four to their con. I maxed oh out his con. God. He's got barbarian levels. Favored class is hit points and toughness feat. So. Just for fun. Just, yeah. just because. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, that's 
basically, yeah, <laughs> what you do when you've got a plus four car. It's like, I'm maximizing my hit points. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am... Shit. I like 